when do you foresee uh, the first uh, time or the period where you have your first line of gloves being done, right? When do you foresee that to happen? Maybe James or Jason, uh, whoever want to answer. Okay. Okay. Um, thank you. Thank you, Mente. Yeah, actually, our construction is started right now. So we are expecting to complete our construction by uh, June. Our machine will install and complete by October next year. So our first batch of uh, growth will be out by October 2021. So uh, for this this batch, first line, first phase is six lines, six uh, double formal lines. We are expecting around 1.6 billion of growth for, uh, from October onwards. Eh? And then we will start for the second phase as well. So ultimately, we are targeting for full production by 2021 March. 3.1 million by 2021 March. So it's around one year down from here. Okay. Yeah. Um, 2020, we, right? We March 2022, right? Yeah, 2022. March 2022. Okay. Okay. Mm. So um, maybe let me just share something to the audience. Actually, the time to market uh, um, for the glove is also important, right? Uh, because you see now the average selling price very high. Ma. One year later, will it be higher or where will it be? Is a, is a different question. So what do you think, um, James and or Jason, where do you think that, you know, one year later, this vaccine will be out, ma? that time maybe the demand is even higher or lower. Do you, where do you foresee the average selling price of the gloves that you are making? Because maybe the brand matters as well. Maybe the, you know, supply demand matters as well. What is your uh, internal projected ASP for your glove? Per 1,000 glove? Uh, before, before before the COVID-19 cases, the growth price is around 3 to $4 per box, $40 per carton. So right now, the price has been shooting up to $7, $8 for manufacturing, $10 for retail as well. So we are targeting our projection is based on um, $6 to $7 per box. $6 so, to $7, yeah. $6 to $7 a box. Huh? So that's the yeah. target. Okay. USD, uh, you are talking about USD. Uh. So it's a, okay. Yeah. So actually this question, uh, when we look at this question, so if you look at the projected earnings should be about 800, 1 billion, 800 million. Uh, I'm not based on revenue, revenue. Yeah. Based on the, you are talking about revenue, right? Yeah, revenue, profit, we don't yeah. know. Yeah, based on the current price is now 800 plus. Million. Million per annum for our full production. Once it's done in March 2022, and provided yes. that you can have the same average selling price, ah. yeah. Because our announcement, we are talking about 3.1 billion growth, but this is based on the minimum scenario. We can up to 3.5 billion growth as well. We can produce up to 3.5. Yeah, this is the minimum scenario we are producing 3.1 billion. So that's okay. some. Yeah. Hmm. So uh, sorry, uh, I mean, like if you if you feel like you know there's anything, guys, let me know because I'm like. You know, shifting the question keeps shifting. So yeah, um, because one of the worry that many people will have, right, is Iconic never ventured into glove before, and you are not doing a JV with an existing glove manufacturer. You are starting from scratch, right? Uh, why do you feel confident that you will be able to build it successfully, and then after that, you know, the quality will be good. Uh, at the same time, you can you know be able to sell it. There's a distribution, proper distribution. And uh, the cost, you know, will be maintained, right? Why, why do you think, you know, what, what makes you feel confident about that? Uh, okay, thank you, thank you. So before we before we venture into this uh, growth industry, before we decided to venture into this, we did some market research. We even talked to a few existing uh, manufacturers as well. We was uh, planning to take over some companies as well. But then uh, we find out that the existing companies, the production is like quite, the technology is quite outdated. Just now in the market, because we compare, we either take over someone or we do, do a new one ourselves. So end of the day, we are going for doing ourselves because that's a, based on the technology we can uh, we can get from now. Uh, previously, uh, we can produce up to 35,000 per hour per machine, 35,000 growth per machine per hour. But based on the, if we took over someone else uh, company, if they are producing 10,000, 12,000, and they, they are processed very labor intensive. 
So right now we are going for more for, um, not fully automatic, it's like more automatic machine and more high tech machine. So it's like the quality will be more consistent. We can because now uh, actually Malaysia is the pioneer pioneer for growth industry. Malaysia is the pioneer maker for growth industry. We are uh, supplying 70 to 80 percent of the worldwide demand. Then, so that's why we decided to go for this because uh, this, this, this industry is quite uh, mature in Malaysia. We have a lot of consultants, we have machine makers in Malaysia. All the consultants are able to help us as well. So we are quite confident we can handle it as from, from the help from the consultant. There's a minimum guarantee from the machine maker. And then we also hire a, a plant manager. He has a, a few, a few a 30 years experience in this industry. He will be operating the plant as well. We are just overseeing the management, but the operation level will be handled by existing uh, experienced uh, workforce. So we are actually expanding our team as well. We are recruiting as well. Instead of taking some over someone's company, uh, like what other people to prefer to do, because it's faster as well. But then in the long term, it's not so feasible because uh, right now the cost is very important in business. We have to control all the costs, cost and the manpower. Is like now you are having uh, having problem to get a foreign worker to come in as well from from outside because of due to COVID thing. So it's a it's a quite challenging on labor part. So we decided to go for a high tech high tech machine, uh, reduce on manpower, improve quality, uh, increase the output per hour. This is our main intention. So, so supported by the experienced staff because worker we can hire is like on contract basis we can hire and, and uh, just the mature industry. So it's, it's, it's not in uh, US. No, no people know how to do growth, but this industry has been major for thirty years. So we can get the workforce from here. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Um, I have a follow-up question, which will be very interesting. Um, it's asking three things, but if it's sensitive, you cannot share, then you can just don't share, right? But uh, in anybody else, uh, Jason or Rondi want to chip into this uh, conversation before I move on to the next question? Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm actually trying to ask question also, but yeah, you go ahead first, Mingte. Oh, my next question is superpower, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, but it's not I think not not attacking question what so uh, if you don't mind uh, maybe you can uh, share with us uh, what kind of consultant or what company you know <laughs> you engage to get the machinery or the raw material or you know the manager where was he from right I mean like these are clue for us to you know learn more about the company if if you don't mind yeah, so maybe let me just follow up uh, on Ming Tik's question also, James, before you answer, because my question is um, somewhat, somewhat um, linked to that. Um, you know, if if you, I mean, as we all know, um, these days, the uh, Butadin uh, rubber in terms of raw material is very difficult to find, right? So I'm just wondering whether you have, because your production is quite far in advance, whether you have already sourced and whether you have already locked um, the raw material on that front, and and going back to in terms of you know your um, the staff that you have hired in for you to do this new venture, um, especially those that has experience in glove making, right? Are they somewhat uh, binded to you, you know, or can can because there are so many newcomers, right? Can one of these newcomers just come in and, and say, hey, I'm gonna pay you higher? You know, and you come to my side. So yeah. So uh, you put me out to summarize the answer before uh, I get the James answer about the raw material and the machine supplier. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, on the screen. Now? Yeah, on the screen. Yeah, uh, you're live. Okay, when iconic venture into this business, rubber grow or face mask, they are not starting some business from the scratch from nowhere. Uh, Ming Tei and Ron Lee will share with you the full presentation slide about 90 pages. The same information we already extract on the EGM circular and EGM already approved proposed diversification into the rubber growth and the face mask pieces. In the circular, he mentioned a few things very important. The first one, for the rubber growth industry, they have been hired this manager, Ashok, there's a long list of background to cut it short he worked in Hatta Lega before. He in this life for the 30 years. He know what he's doing. Second, this business is not built on a key man risk. This business is 
this guy is running the operation. But during the setting out the production machine, thank God that this rubber group business is a very long 34 year industry, very mature. The machine supplier, subsequently, Jim will share with you, they not only for build the machine, fabricate the machine, uh, build out the whole production line, they also provide the training to the staff and, and the worker who help to produce the group. And we make a commercial decision. If you start it, you start it with a maximum automation, minimum falling labor employed. With this, at the end of the day, even though the operation manager one day leave, always remember, Citibank can survive. It's not because every year you change the CEO. Citibank can survive more than 100 years old it's because the system. The same thing for this rubber group industry. When they set out with the automation, with the system, with the SOP, with the compliance, everything will go on track. This is not something start from scratch, start from nowhere. For the face mask, face mask this is the business that already started the first line in the rental factory. They're going to add in five plus five, 10 production line. They also have this production manager, Mr. Tan. The whole detail of this Mr. Tan uh, working in the operation, also in the circular, the same thing also in the uh, so-called the presentation slide. The company also engaged the Nessus and one of the industry consultants who not only provide the guidance in the operation in terms of the implementation and every single aspect of face masks. Uh, unless you tell me they are going into the pharmaceutical vaccine, and that is totally new area. And this is something that Malaysia never have. Do remember rubber group in the industry, if you learn from like what the top group say, about 10, 20 years ago, we have two, 300 players in the town. Today, we may have 30, 40 players. But this industry only grew and become mature. Therefore, the risk for them to venture in this line is not like something to start from nowhere. And Mintek, you touched about the idea about the vaccine. If anybody who pay a lot of attention on the pharmaceutical world, if any of you really learn about medical and you track the development in the whole world, uh, when we talk about the vaccine in Malaysia, you study the latest statement by the uh, this uh, uh, this uh, Kyrie, the minister. Our country, we only effort, effort, and we only have money to vaccine how many people? Three to four percent, the maximum five percent. It's too expensive to do that. So the vaccine is not easily accessible for all the general public. The same thing apply for all other the world. Two things. First, supply constraint. The vaccine cannot come out too fast. Second, demand is 7 billion population in the whole world. We can't afford to do it for all the every single human on the earth. Therefore, you will see the imbalancing on this abnormal. We go for that. The generalization for Mintex is definitely accurate. Vaccine come out, glove cannot use. But the generalization also have a loophole. The loophole is the cost of the medication is too expensive. Therefore, the growth, I not say that will be uh, diminishing demand. It will be just like oversupply may create distortion in the price. But always bear in mind, the demand is not come from one single segment. The demand will come from multiple segments because the health consciousness, the hygiene requirement, like you and me, the moment you step in any beauty salon or any barber shop who want to touch you, want to cut your hair, want to serve you everything, you say, hey, brother, and you wear gloves and wear the face mask, I'm very scared about you, you know. So all these things have been changed the human behavior. Uh, hidden demand has not actually surfaced yet at this moment. Because the glove and the mask, the first priority is to go to hospital, not to the outside at this moment. Okay, uh, James, I'll hand back to uh, prospect to you about the raw material supplier as well as the machine supplier. James, you need to unmute your mic. Thank you, Thank you, Yapsing. Thank you, Yapsing. Okay, right, right now our machine maker is uh, in based in KL. Uh, it's not proper for me to discuss the name of the machine maker as well, because but he's been in the industry for twenty to thirty years. And he's uh actually he also supply quite a uh, major top four uh, all, all the industry industry in, in in Malaysia as well. And then for our production consultant, he's basically uh, working on the helping us to set up on the plan. So we are actually working on a contract basis. It's like uh, we are helping us for two years. Uh, now we work until we set up the production so they will guide around uh, technology transfer as well the, the machine maker will provide a guarantee on the technical side 
we are providing a guarantee based on the quotation they give us. They have to set it all on the technical side, uh, on training to our staff, the engineering. And then, we, we, uh, of course, our side have to hire our, our own engineer, our own farm manager, but their side will support us at the back end. And then they will provide training as well. The most important is training because uh, once everyone is okay, then the question will run. Okay. Uh, for the for you are saying, let's say uh, someone is going to offer a higher price to take over someone, uh, that's like that. It's like, um, okay, uh, actually, we are using a contract basis with, uh, with the, uh, our plan manager. And then, um, if let's say that, uh, you're saying, saying this, this, this is a mature industry, I can find a lot of people. It's not only one people can work on this thing, it's like more than in, in, this, in this market, there's a lot of people that know about birth industry as well. So, we are not quite, quite uh, concerned on this. Okay, for the raw materials, like, yeah, we, 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 we did sp uh, spoken to few supplier, but then our production is on October, one year down the road from now. And then we believe that there will be more and more supplier coming up because uh, that's the demand, that's the supply. But uh, for our face mask as well, when we started to do face mask, our the price for the melbourne because uh, the center layer of the mask is called melbourne the one that's uh, filter the particle and uh, bacteria. It, uh, it, it, the only supplier was in uh, China. And then the price shoot up from 30,000 RMB to 600,000 RMB inside one month. But right now, it came back to uh, 30 plus thousand, it came back to normal. So we believe this is a short term problem. It's like, um, in just that's a demand, that's a supply. Even uh, I, I believe some, some uh, girls, make, make, uh, they are doing their own product, uh, they are trying to do their own production for the raw material as well. Yeah, that's, that's, that's it. So, so it's a short term problem. So we are not so concerned because we are one year down the road. It's not we are producing right now. Right now, it's uh, we are facing shortage of supply. But we are doing it one year. So Petronas is even doing the raw material right now. So when we started, I think the new supply were coming in as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, back to the question. So what kind of margin are you expecting? Um, from your business, this glove manufacturing business, um, down the road in uh, October or you know March two thousand twenty-two, what kind of margin? Like right now, uh, of course, because you're ramping up the operation all this, uh, the margin may not be the same. But if you look at the you know top four, the margin is already 30, 40 percent. I think it's probably gonna increase because this one, the ASP, from what I read, went up thirty percent. Like I can't believe it, right? So, uh, what kind of margin do you expect to make? We are expecting to make around 30 to 40 percent, like what you said just now. And then, based on 30 to 40 percent, our ROI is half years. The, you invest 180 to, million, right? 150, 150. 150. So, that's like yeah. less than a year. Yeah, less than a year. So, <laughs> so, so, right now, because before the pandemic, uh, I mean, the uh, post pandemic, the price has been shooting up from two to three, three hundred percent. And then, but then the raw material doesn't shoot up as high as the price of the curve. So we are expecting, we are more conservative. We are talking about 30, 30 to 40 percent. Net our, our margin or gross yeah. margin? Net. Net margin. That's why uh, all the top, uh, top four companies, we are, we are pronouncing top profit, super profit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. price. Um, we are asked the next question. Um, so this one is from my Facebook, um, from my Facebook group. So there is actually two questions, right? Number one is um, how and when are you going to secure the FDA approval from from US? Uh, you know, FDA, CE, and medical authority approval. And the second question is with regards to your planned one. Um, 150 million of total cost to, to to set up the entire thing. So we know from today, or was it a few days ago, the announcement from your private placement, which, um, you know, congratulations on that. That has kind of like filled up 50 million. So in the next 100 million, maybe can you share with us how do you plan to do that? Hi. Is it uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Bandi. Yeah. Thank you, Randy. Uh, okay, there's a lot of concern on CE and uh, FDA approval from our side. So right now we are going to 
we are, actually we started we started for the approval uh, getting just for ce approval you need some time and fd approval as well so right now uh before you get the ce approval you get, you get the iso country for fi approval for our existing face mask brand we are we actually have obtained our iso approval and then it actually it's the same process because it's classified as a medical device it's under medical device so you, once you need to export to us you need to export to uh, european countries you need to get ce and fda so um, right now, actually, we are in the progress of uh, doing the paperwork for CE and FDA approval. We are, so we are targeting to get the approval before the production start because we couldn't afford the, the, the approval to after the production start. So we are, we are targeting before the production start. So one year down the road, we are going to get the approval, then we only start production. And then for the, just now you're asking, um, 150 million uh, cost. Right now, we, we as per recent announcement, we got around fifty million from the market to to fund this project. So that's a shortage of hundred million from our property development. Uh, actually, when we when we came in this company in two thousand eighteen, the net cash is around three to four million. We can use three to four million. But then we managed to turn the cash to I mean the the cash flow to twenty six million as we can I, I present just now, but. Based on our property development profit coming in, we are expecting for uh, 50 to 60 million cash uh, in our hand. So it's through internal, internally generated fund, we are going to fund uh, 50, 50 million from uh, our internal generated fund, and the balance is through uh, bank loan. 